The following is a video on how to install a DVD into a HP 600G3. As you can see, uh, it's the uh, 600G3 model right here, HP. So um, our first step, of course, will be to set uh, the DVD aside and then open the machine. You can just uh, open the machine by uh, sliding the cover, just like that. You can just remove it like this. And then um, usually uh, the machine will already have, of course, the uh, hard drive or SSD uh, already connected, uh, as well, of course, as the face and all the other components on the inside, okay? So uh, first thing we want to do, we want to remove the face just by doing this. So you see there's uh, four switches here. They do have the, the arrow indicating uh, where to um, push them. And then just uh, please do this gently so you don't break the face. It will come out really easy. You can leave it here for now. And then here, um, we want to first unplug. Uh, this is the SATA cable, and this is the power cable for the hard drive, okay? So um, there's a switch here that you can just press. As you can see, it's right here. You can just press it downwards and then gently pull and the cable will come out. And uh, for the power cable, it's just to remove it uh, manually. As you can see, there is no need for tools. We can do this with our bare hands um, as long as we uh, don't have any other electric components around. Uh, we're using a wood table and the computer, of course, is not connected uh, to the power, okay? So once we have done this, um, there is a switch. There, there's an arrow here that you can see. And there's this switch that you can just pull like this. So you can push it actually and then lift um, the whole uh, hard drive cage, okay? So uh, we're going to remove the cage just like this, okay? And well, in here you will see, of course, uh, your RAM sticks depending on, on your order specifications. Uh, but then what we want to focus is uh, for the DVD, we're going to be using these two cables. Um, so this will be the power cable that we will be using uh, for the for the DVD or the CD, okay? And this is the SATA cable that we're gonna be using for the CD as well. Uh, notice how uh, the uh, power cable, it's part of a big cable that goes to the motherboard that also has the power cables for the, for the hard drive. So if you have the power cable for the hard drive, you should also have the power cable for the DVD. Sometimes it might be tangled uh, on the motherboard or uh, under the, the fan, um, but yeah, it should be here. And then we also want the SATA cable. Uh, this cable is for a uh, data transmission. It looks exactly the same as the one we use for the hard drive, only this one doesn't have a clip and this one does, but it can change between machines. And the uh, most important thing, we want to keep using the SATA cable that is connected to port zero for the hard drive and uh, the other SATA cable connected to port one and you can see here it says uh, SATA 1. Uh, this one we want to use for the DVD. Why? Because the machine will, by default, try to load the operating system from SATA 0. So it's very important we um, use this one instead. So now that we have all the uh, devices already uh, connected, uh, what we can do is just to uh, put back the face of the machine and then just close the machine and start using our machine. So uh, for that, I uh, strongly suggest that you move the machine a little bit towards the edge, not too much so it doesn't fall, but just a little bit so you can properly fit in the case. And then as you can see, the case has uh, notches both on the bottom. So here, 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 and here. And on the top, here, 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 and here. And we want to align the notches on the bottom with the case first. Okay, so the case is actually uh, properly placed. So something like this, as you can see, there's holes on the case as well for each of the notches. So uh, we just want to align them first. Uh, and then once we know that they are properly aligned, then we can just sort of press the face in and uh, just make sure that, you know, it actually fits properly with the case, uh, especially on this part, which is where most people tend to do mistakes when reinstalling the face. 
and yeah this part looks good as well as you can see it just you know seems like a proper fit and then uh, last but not least we just need to put the case back on so for that just try to sort of fit in and then yeah it looks like uh, it has gone in and then just you can use your body to hold the machine and then just slide the case towards you okay uh of course it will be easier to use both hands <laughs> uh but still it's just you know to slide the case and then yeah looks like you know it's it's uh it's gone uh, towards me and that's it you can start using your machine again and as i said the dvd it's gonna be here and this is gonna be the button that it uses it looks like part of the face but it, as you can see it actually has like you know uh it's like coming out of the face so yeah we can just press it and uh it should work properly okay so now that we have all the uh, devices already uh connected uh, what we can do is just to uh, put back the face of the machine and then just close the machine and start using our machine. So uh, for that, I uh, strongly suggest that you move the machine a little bit towards the edge, not too much so it doesn't fall, but just a little bit so you can properly fit in the case. And then as you can see, the case has uh, notches both on the bottom. So here, 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 and here, and on the top, here 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 and here and we want to align the notches on the bottom with the case first okay so the case is actually uh, properly placed so something like this as you can see there's holes on the case as well for each of the notches so uh, we just want to align them first uh, and then once we know that they are properly aligned then we can just sort of press the face in and uh, just make sure that you know, it actually fits properly with the case, uh, especially on this part, which is where most people tend to do mistakes when reinstalling the face. And yeah, this part looks good as well. As you can see, it just, you know, seems like a proper fit. And then uh, last but not least, we just need to put the case back on. So for that, just try to sort of fit in. And then, yeah, it looks like uh, it has gone in. And then just, you can use your body to hold the machine and then just slide the case towards you, okay? Uh, of course, it will be easier to use both hands, <laughs> uh, but still, it's just, you know, to slide the case. And then, yeah, looks like, you know, it's, it's, uh, it's gone uh, towards me. And that's it, you can start using your machine again. And as I said, the DVD, it's gonna be here. And this is gonna be the button that it uses. It looks like part of the face, but it, as you can see, it actually has like, you know, uh, it's like coming out of the face. So yeah, we can just press it and uh, it should work properly, okay?